Welcome to another Blueprint IoT video. This video is part of a video series about Node-RED and today we're going to talk about the switch node. Before we get started, I want to point out that the switch node is called switch node, but I rather would refer to it as sort node because what it's basically doing, it's sorting data and information or you can use it to sort and guide your information. So let's dig into it. So as soon as we open the node, we see why it's called the switch node. We can define a rule like a value needs to equal a certain value, like in this case a string, but of course, once we're talking about values, just use a number. So equals five, in this case, we will forward this information to number one. So let's just make an example. We will use an eject node, connect it and select data format number, just give it a try with one and we will give a name for this inject node with one, using one and here we will inject five, give it five as a name so we don't get confused and we will just put a debug node on the other end, we don't care about the topic so we can use the normal debug mode for the payload and we will just go ahead. So here we go, we will inject a one, nothing is happening. So this message was stopped by the switch and now we inject five and we see it was forwarded to the end to the debug node and the switch node was just forwarding the exact same information. So until this point, it's really a switch. But what's about adding some more rules? So in case it equals one, we will just forward the information to output number two, which will be created in the moment we press done. So here we go. Let's just copy the debug node, connect it here, give it a name like message equals five. We should see it at this debug node. And in case message equals one, we should see it on this debug node. Let's double check. It's a one, it goes to output number two. It's a five, it goes to output number one. So try it again. Here we go. Number one, we get a message, just hover across it and we see, yes, it was forwarded to the right debug node and use the five and hover again. Yes, the five was forwarded to the right output. So it's exactly sorting data. So this is it for today's video. So very useful node enables you a lot of logic and a lot of text and reply and a lot of sorting of measurements and sensor values. So that's really a very important, very powerful node. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video about the change nodes and everything else that's out there. So make sure to be subscribed and see you next time.